So Heather Rich was, again, 16 years old when she was murdered. The date of her murder was October 3rd, 1996. And again, her body was found about an hour or hour and a half south of where we are in Oklahoma right now, where she's buried. Her body was found in Belknap Creek, Texas, kind of on the Texas-Oklahoma border. Her body had numerous, numerous shotgun wounds to her head and back, and she was also sexually assaulted. But there was actually three different perpetrators, and so we're going to get into all the details and then, of course, talk about the three perpetrators who killed her. But this murder actually starts the night before, so on October 2nd, 1996, around 11 p.m., Heather actually left her home without her parents knowing uh, to meet a 17-year-old senior named Joshua Bagwell. She went to Joshua Bagwell's trailer, which was kind of parked in the back of Bagwell's grandfather's house. Joshua was already drinking pretty heavily with his friends, 19-year-old Curtis Gamble, and Heather's actually former boyfriend, Randy Wood. And so they all had been hanging out, drinking together. One of them had called Heather and told her that she should join them all at Joshua's trailer that evening. Shortly after she got there, Curtis Gamble and Heather's former boyfriend, Randy Wood, both left to go somewhere for about an hour. When both of them returned, again about an hour later, um, they found both Josh and Heather naked and there had been a bottle of gin that was about half consumed. And so Heather was extremely drunk. And since they were all pretty drunk, they all began to kind of urge each other on to all of them sexually assault Heather while she was naked and again, just completely drunk. And so they all took turns, basically all sexually assaulting her. She started to kind of come around and get out of that drunkenness state and she began to cry and scream. All three of them were scared that she, of course, was waking up now, and they did not want to get in trouble for their sexually assaulting her. So they decided that their best action was just to kill her and get rid of her. So Gamble pointed a shotgun he had and ordered Heather to get dressed, and so they ended up getting in a vehicle and all three of them plus Heather driving. And it just says that they just began driving kind of randomly around southern Oklahoma for about an hour. And Gamble kept saying something to the effect of that they would have to kill her before driving to his grandparents. That that was the location they were thinking of that they would dump her body at. However, Joshua Bagwell decided against that and thought that the location would be easily traced back to all three of them. So they ended up just driving to like a random bridge in, again, Belknap Creek, Texas, and ordered Heather out of the truck. Gamble proceeded to shoot her several times, again, in the head and torso with the shotgun, killing her there. Joshua Bagwell then took one of the brace um, that they had in the back of the truck and used that to tie a rock to it and then tie that to her body so her body would be submerged in the water. Of course, again, the next morning when both Heather's parents, Gail and Dwayne, found that her daughter was not in her bed and that her window was open, they, of course, filed a missing persons report. So now Heather's body was discovered by a rancher on October 10th. So about a week later, give or take, they found her body. The only way they really were able to identify her was by a, a gold ring that Heather had on her and then uh, later they were able to confirm that with uh, her dental records. Uh, it says that she was shot about nine times with an M9 Winchester shotgun. Just an absolutely horrific way to go. So all three perpetrators were finally brought in for questioning and eventually the, all three of them were, were found guilty in trial. Curtis Gamble was convicted of conspiracy to commit murder and he was given life in prison with a minimum period of 30 years that he had to serve. Next, Joshua Bagwell was convicted of capital murder and conspiracy to commit murder and he was given life in prison without parole plus 99 years. Randy Lee Wood 
was convicted of capital murder and was sentenced to life in prison. So it's interesting as the guy who pulled the trigger seems to have gotten less time as of filming this. I believe all three are still in prison. All right guys, after quite a bit of driving, I finally made it to the location where Heather Rich's body was found. And of course, this is where she was killed. Um, this is, again, this is the Belknap Creek Bridge. And again, uh, I believe the closest town to this is Terrell, um, Terrell, Oklahoma, I believe. Um, again, it is in the middle of nowhere and the reason why I believe this is the exact bridge is again, in the article I read, it said Belknap Creek Road Bridge. And on Google Maps, this is the Belknap Creek Bridge. There's really no other bridges in this area that I've seen. So I am pretty sure with 100% certainty that this is the bridge where she was killed and her body was dumped. Now, keep in mind, guys, that after she was shot, you know, again, numerous times with a shotgun, they tied that weight to her body with the rope. And they essentially just threw her body over this bridge into the creek. I was hoping that there might be like some sort of memorial or something that showcased, you know, that she died here. It's just random people's graffiti. I'm not seeing like her name anywhere. Looks like someone was uh, attempting to fish or something as there's like this uh, fishing line here. I don't know what they were trying to fish for or what they were trying to do. Maybe it was magnet fishing for all I know. <laughs> uh, what do you want to bet that there might be some alligators or crocodiles in this creek? Um, we are in Texas now. This is over the Texas border, so who knows? There might be some sort of animals in there. Yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. Um, again, I wanted to make sure I came out here and showed you where the last few moments of Heather's life you know, where she died at. So anyway, again, if you're new around here, uh, just make sure you subscribe. It's always free. And until next time, again, my name is Harmon. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching.